According to a PR published by Thales on September 13, 2023, the firm recently demonstrated a new integrated system under the Franco-British Maritime Mine Countermeasures MMCM, project that can locate, identify, and neutralize sea mines using drone technology. The demonstration was conducted from their operations center in Brest, France. The integrated system employs the M-Cube mission management system to coordinate and control multiple uncrewed surface and underwater vehicles, all equipped with sonar technology. This initiative is aimed at offering both the UK Royal Navy and the French Navy a more automated approach to mine countermeasures. The sea tests, observed by representatives from the French Navy, the UK Ministry of Defence, and OCCR, showcased the system's capability to locate and identify sea mines. Additionally, the remotely operated underwater vehicle demonstrated its ability to attach exercise charges to mines, ensuring their neutralization. The MMCM project utilizes recent advancements in artificial intelligence, autonomous technology, cybersecurity, and uncrewed systems, all designed to meet the specific requirements set out by the respective naval forces. Post-rigorous at-sea assessments, the first two prototype MMCM systems have been under operational examination by the navies since the end of 2021. The planned rollout of the six further developed systems is scheduled for 2024 and 2025. Having taken the lead in the system integration for the MMCM project, Thales has continued its work in the field of drone-based mine countermeasures. The recent tests underline Thales's capacity to integrate various subsystems into its M-Cube. This development aims to provide safer operations by keeping naval personnel away from potential mine threats. Utilizing AI-driven systems ensures the detection and neutralization of hidden mine threats with a high degree of accuracy. The integration of the primary components, part of the broader system, has commenced in Brest. These components are expected to be delivered to the navies by early 2024.